Pulcini has got the run on Habsburg. Here they come, down towards the Retofilio. Is Pulcini close enough to challenge? He tries to sell the dummy to the Austrian. Habsburg sticks to the line. Pulcini, what can he do? Habsburg tries to block out the Italian, slows him on the exit of the Retofilio, but still, Pulcini gets on the throttle a fraction of a second earlier, it means, as they head into the curve of Grande. Pulcini goes for it. He looks to the inside line. He squeezes Habsburg. They interlock wheels with each other as they come through on towards the chicane, and Pulcini takes the lead on the final lap of the race. Habsburg looks to challenge around the outside into the chicane, across the chicane escape road he goes, he rejoins at the front of the field. He defends from Pulcini, Troitsky invites himself to the fight as well. And now Pulcini's got half a lap remaining, Habsburg somehow back in front. They come out of the second Lesmo, it's going to all be about the Parabolica for the final time. Can Pulcini carry that momentum that he needs out of Ascari? Ahead under the banking and then up the slight incline in the road, on the brakes, down through the gears. And Pulcini closing all the while on the Austrian. Habsburg has to keep to the racing line here. He needs to secure the exit, he does, but so does Pulcini. This is the Italian's opportunity. He gets in the toe behind Habsburg, who bobs and weaves down the back straight. Which way does Pulcini go? Habsburg thinks inside, so does Pulcini. Pulcini darts the outside, he challenges, he gets his nose in front. Oh, it's a wonderful move from Pulcini to take the lead around the outside of the Parabolica on the final corner of the race. And Leonardo Pulcini takes the win here in Monza in the Euro Formula Open. Brilliant, brilliant last lap. Habsburg takes second and Nikita Troitsky completes the podium. What a wonderful, wonderful race.